What's up, everybody, and welcome back to A Beer Day with TK. It's a chilly winter evening here in Finley, Ohio, and the Ginger Yeti is in the house. What's going on, my brother? Well, it's good to finally be back down here. Yeah. Some windy as shit out, and I'm ready to get some beers in. Got my uh, YouTube channel up and running finally. Yep, so go check him out, Ginger Yeti Road Beers. There's always a link. If you go down to my description, I think if you look underneath the uh, basic info, there's a link to his channel, so check it out. Well, thank you for that. Yeah, man. And I'm looking forward to getting some beers in this weekend. Yeah. So this one here we have is called Goodbye Gravity. And this was sent to us by our buddy Shane from Shane's Craft Beer Review. So I'll throw his logo up there. Now, we were looking this up. I think Shane did a review on this. The uh, Alkanauts. Al Alkanauts. Um, and did uh, did Brew do it? Beer for Breakfast, Fast I for I think Sex, so. Right? I think I, those three guys did. And I thought a couple other people did, but I didn't spend enough time looking it up. Yeah. I, I want to say maybe... Um, Brian and Beer Snob or uh, Dave's TV might have done it. I think he might have sent a couple of us the same one. So the, right. the only ones I saw pop up initially were the three Canadian guys, right. the three Canadian channels. But I think there are a few others floating around. If I can find them, I'll throw them in the links as well if you want to check out some other people's views. But this one's Goodbye Gravity from Imperial City Brew House. And this is from Sarnia, Ontario. I've been to Sarnia. That's a good border crossing where you're going from Canada back into Michigan. It's much easier to cross there. It's, it's just north of Detroit. It's much easier to cross there than it is to cross at Windsor. Oh, really? I didn't yeah. know that. The only yeah. thing I know about Sarnia was the Sarnia Sting was a hockey team back. I mean, it might be an hour, might still be there. hour, hour and a half north of Detroit. Oh, so it's a little, it's not, it's a little bit up then. But it's much easier to cross there than it is Windsor. Mm -hmm. Yes. So if you're smuggling cars full of God knows what, then that's a <laughs> border crossing. Smuggling plums? <laughs> Wow, I think I told you. They, I thought one time they stopped me in Windsor. I think they thought I was human trafficking my wife because <laughs> they kept asking her if she was okay, and I was like, "What does this look like? Is she too good looking for me? You think I kidnapped her or something, dude?" Well, she I is was, too good looking for you, but that's, that's another enough. story. But I was like a little offended, and then my wife said to him, "Are you okay?" And I was like, "Don't escalate. It'll be me. They beat up, not you." <laughs> You were going to get the taser. Yeah, the Canadian taser. It's just a hockey stick. He's jappy with it, dude. So what's that blurb on the side? So it says here, uh, brewed in Sarnia, Ontario. Ontario, keep cold, drink fresh. Imperial City Brew House is honored to pay tribute to hometown Canadian icon, Commander Chris Hadfield, the mustachioed musician who skyrocketed to stardom as the first Canadian astronaut to walk in space with his guitar in hand and a mission to make... Canada proud. Mission accomplished, Commander. And I looked him up, and it looks like he is now currently the commander of the International Space Shuttle. You mean station? Station, correct. ISS. Is it International Space Station? Yes. Yeah. I didn't even know the Canadians had astronauts, to be brutally honest. So this is kind of uh, interesting for me to see that this guy is in charge of the, the space station. Now, the space station is all different nationalities are up right. there, right? Like, I know the Russians and Chinese and other people are up there. But I, I was unaware that the Canadians actually had astronauts, to be to be fair. So, interesting find here. Sorry, my Canadian brothers. I mean, I would assume they do, but it's not something I would have thought about or... or... You know, I mean, I kind of think about, like, going to the moon and stuff as for countries that just have too much free time. You know what I mean? And too much money. Yeah, first of all. Or, or don't care about burning money like we do. So, what I'd like to know is how much it cost to get the guitar up there. <laughs> because, you know, like, it's all based on weight and mm. cost... What did they thousands not of put dollars on? per pound or per gram or whatever to, to fly things up into the sp into into space? They had to leave out three like uh, and I think I think safety vest and get the guitar on. Dude. Well, I, I could be wrong, but I think um, astronauts are allowed a certain amount of personal items. I imagine if you're like, up there like for months things. at a time, you got to give them something so they don't go nuts, right? Right. right? I mean, right? Because I think astronauts have taken like CD players and, and different yeah. weird things like that. I'm gonna pop this bad boy. But it'd be interesting to know pound per pound what the cost was for the guitar mm -hmm. to to go up there. Yeah, so this 5% ABV, 18 IBUs, I think I mentioned that on the side of the can. Ratings-wise, on tap, 3.68, pretty solid. Beer Advocate, 3.62. Now, there's only eight ratings there, so limited sample size. I forgot this was a cream ale, because that's one of those kind of cans that you would think it would be a stout or something crazy. Yeah, so and it's, dark. Yeah. yeah. And goodbye gravity. You think high-gravity right. beer right, or something? Right. Well, I guess it would be the so, opposite. It would be no gravity <laughs> instead of high <laughs> gravity, right? So I was initially surprised at the color. So this is supposed to be Madagascar Vanilla. Uh, cream ale sounds good to me, man. I like cream ales. You don't see a lot of cream ales. No, this is you know this is something I complain about. Like there are certain styles I quite like dark lagers. I like cream ales, and you just very rarely see them. Who did one? Someone did it. Was the Urban Woody or somebody did one? I Someone been locally there a long time. did one. I quite liked them. So hey, Shane, appreciate the beer, my brother. Yeah, I don't yeah, have thank you very else. much. Nothing else on the on the card. The artwork is kind of neat. It's got the 
commander there with his guitar cruising around in space. I imagine you couldn't even play guitar in deep space because there's no... Sound wouldn't travel, would it? I mean, you could play it, you just wouldn't hear it. Yeah, there'd be no... It wouldn't travel. So, hmm, very interesting. All right. First things first. Look at this. Ew, that's kind of... Look, check that out. A lot of carbonation. And yeah, a lot yeah of... but look at it. It's like suspended. Like, you see carbonation. I got a few bubbles going. Yours looks more carbon than mine. But look at the things, like, suspended in it. Like, like is that... Yeah, I don't know what it is. But, I mean, it looks like something, particles in there of some sort. So, I wonder if that's... Like, when you have a, a, a really active aerator on your faucet, mm -hmm. and you pour a glass of water in, and the water looks, looks, like, white because it's so aerated. But well, that is definitely a chunk floating around. Yeah, there's something in there. Is that from you not cleaning the glass, or is that from the beer? No, man, I clean these glasses. <laughs> there's there's about a good finger and a half, two fingers worth of... Are you part of the dirty glass mafia? White frothy, and I can't do that. Then the Germans will get angry and yell at me. <laughs> can't have that going on, man. I've got maybe a finger's worth. Yeah, I, well, I mean, I had a little bit more. It's going now, and it's doing a little island thing on mine. Let's give it a sniff. Pick up it smells like vanilla. Well. I was going to say, it smells like your typical beer with, with a little bit of light vanilla to it. Yeah. Like that just average beer smell. Yeah, yeah. Just like, I don't know, I always think it was just kind of like a bready malty smell. Yeah. And then like a bit of uh, a bit of vanilla. I'm glad that it's not over the top. Didn't we recently do it and the vanilla was just so dominating and it sucked? I haven't recently been here, so I don't know. Well, I, it was maybe I recently <laughs> uploaded the video. We might have shot it three months ago. <laughs> Yeah, but it was, it, the vanilla was just so much, it was distracting. So I'm hoping it's not that. Let's give it a shot. Cheers. Cheers. Light body. Ooh. You get some nice vanilla. Yeah, you do. Let's see if it's a natural vanilla. I can feel that carbonation going down. Yeah. You get it at the, when you swallow it. You yeah, get it you get it. Your throat like burps are already brewing. Or right, something. exactly. But that's got some nice vanilla there. I mean, that's that's a nice. Let's see. It says ingredients: eau, eau gray, malte, maize, riz. Well, let's read the English one. Oh yeah, we'll probably that. <laughs> water, malted barley, <laughs> corn, rice, natural vanilla extract, hops, and yeast. It says rice in it. I wouldn't have. And corn. It doesn't really taste terribly adjunct. No, not at all. Honest. Not at all. You might get a tiny, tiny little bit of a, like a bite to it, but that's about it. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's a very light beer, mm. light, light flavor, subtle flavor, with, but with some nice vanilla, but the vanilla is not obnoxious, not overpowering. Yeah, and but it it's tastes there. like vanilla, not like vanilla right. Tootsie Rolls or something gross. Right, it tastes like real vanilla, not yeah. candy vanilla. Yeah, yeah, I think this is a win for me. So goodbye gravity cream ale with vanilla. Big thumbs up, man. What do you think? Absolutely. I'd give this superhero a big thumbs up. Yeah, my Canadian brother sent me an awesome beer. Celebrating a Canadian hero I didn't know about. Now, I will say this. We don't really learn very much about Canadian history, sadly. We don't learn very much about any history. True. I think the last Canadian Prime Minister, I mean, I would say no Trudeau. And before that, probably Brian Mulroney is probably the last one that I know. And that was years ago. So well, it's kind of neat to learn about their has, hasn't, hasn't Trudeau been in for our entire life? He's been in for it a feels while, like sadly. It. They need to get rid of that guy. But that's neither here nor there, right? This isn't to advocate for... But he has been in a long time, right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I or guess... does it just feel like it? No, he's been in a while. I mean, before that, he was a substitute drama teacher. Very busy man. And now, all of a sudden, <laughs> he's in charge of a country. It's a natural escalation of, of jobs. A substitute drama teacher, premier or prime minister. Or just like bartending is, is, is <laughs> how you start out at the company, in the politics, right? That's right. Definitely. Definitely. So, two thumbs up for Goodbye Gravity. Shane, thanks for hooking us up, my brother. Uh, if you liked the video, give us a thumbs up. Hit that like button. Again, check out the Ginger Yeti's channel. Link is down below. If you've had this beer, let us know what you think about it. Or if you've had anything else from Imperial City Brew House in Sarnia, holler down in the comments. Let us know what else we should be looking for. Hey, till next time. Cheers. Cheers.